Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Dan the Fix It Man. Got another quick video here for you. I'm going to show you how to change your spark plugs on a 2004 Toyota Tundra with the 4.7 liter V8 motor. The spark plugs I'm going to be using today are the Bosch Double Iridium. These are pre gapped and do not require anti seize as well. I don't know if you can you can see that, but that's what that's showing you. And then the torque on this will be 21 foot pounds. Now before I get started on taking off the coils and everything, I like to clean this off with a little bit of compressed air and so I, just to try to get some of this dust and debris out of there. Now each one of these spark plugs has its own individual coil which we will be pulling off here in a minute. But I just wanted to get some of that debris and dust out of there so that uh, nothing falls down into the combustion chamber once we have the plugs out. Before we take off the coils, we need to disconnect them. You can see that there's this wiring harness here. And that's not as easy as just pushing it in with your thumb and pulling on it. I found a, another way to do this is you just get a, a blade screwdriver. And while you push in on the top, if you can get a screwdriver underneath that little clip like that, then it'll just pop right off. And you can see how much faster that is. Again, this is just, just using the angle. I'll show you on this one here. You still have to push in at the top, but you could push in and pull on this for quite a while and without getting it. You know, I was trying to pry it from below, but I noticed if you just get underneath that little clip, pry it outward, it'll just pop right off. Same thing with this last one here. Then we can loosen and remove this 10 millimeter bolt that holds in each coil. And that's what those look like. Okay, now we can pull out each coil. And this you just kind of pull it straight out. That's what the coil looks like. And these are in good shape, so we're not going to be replacing these this time. And then to get out your spark plugs, you'll just need a spark plug socket. Uh, this happens to be a 5 8 inch um, spark plug socket. And the difference between this and a typical regular socket is it's got a little rubber bushing on the inside, which will hold on to those spark plugs while you pull them out. And we can just, just put that in. You'll need a kind of a longer extension to get in there. And there's our old plug here. And you can see it's it's dirty, but uh, it's also worn down. Looks like the uh, the tip is worn pretty good. So we'll uh, get rid of that. Actually, I'll open up the new one, show you the difference here real quick. So here's the new one, and you can see it's got this protective cardboard sleeve on there, protecting the gap. So just a close up, quick quick comparison of the old versus new. This is pre-gapped and ready to to put back in gonna do the same thing just put it inside that spark plug socket and then carefully lower that back down in through that cylinder there and I just kind of lower it gently just to make sure we don't smash the end of that plug and just get it started by hand and we'll get that uh, Torque down with a wrench afterwards. Moving on to the next one here. Now there's the next one, and again, you can see that that one is also uh, very worn down. Um, I think I've only got about uh, 60,000 miles on these plugs here. So, again, just feeding that down through the cylinder gently get that started by hand make sure you don't cross thread that and we can tighten that down now sometimes when you're trying to pull out the socket <laughs> sometimes you'll just pull your extension out of it and that's okay um, if you have to grab a pair of needle nose pliers you can reach in there and pull the socket off 
off of the plug, but sometimes if you put it back on and wiggle it side to side, you might get lucky and get it off. Let's try that one more time. If I can't get it this time, I'll go grab needle nose pliers. Yep, I guess we will. Hang on one second. Okay, so here I've got these long reach dual action needle nose pliers. I'm just gonna reach in there and pull that off. There we go. And sometimes that just happens. Sometimes these socket uh, will just come off of your extension. Maybe it's just an old one and it's kind of worn out, but uh, sometimes that rubber bushing just gets tight onto that uh, spark plug and doesn't want to let go. So not a big deal. So moving on, same thing here. And there's the next one. Just feed that through nice and easy and get it started by hand. Last one on this side. And we'll get that, uh, get that put back in carefully. Okay, so I'm just using this uh, torque wrench right here, this older style, but it uh, it still works. one there we go I just got these all torqued down to uh, right around 21 foot-pounds and um, I wasn't gonna use a torque wrench but uh, I'm glad I did because I was a little light on a few uh, just doing it by feel all right then we can put the coils back on and just line those up and they just press on pretty easily And then we can put back these little bolts that hold those coils in place. And we'll just get those snug down. I don't think that they're a very high torque. When you tighten these down, just double check your manual on the torques back on these. And we'll just snug them up for now. And then we can reconnect our coils here with the wiring harness. And just snap those into place. And that's pretty much everything. Just to repeat this same process for the other four cylinders on the opposite side of the engine. I uh, just wanted to say thank you to Bosch for sending me those spark plugs. I will put a link in the description uh, with the product information as well where you can pick some up. I uh, hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe if you did. But thanks so much for watching and good luck.